there folks. I'm just trying out this new great technology that Peter seems to be um, introducing us to. So here we go. Here's a new view of me. Um, I have just completed the timetable for next week. I'm really sorry that it's taken so long to get to you. It's been a bit of a busy time. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it out to you today, by the end of the day. This will be a copy of the timetable for next week. gives you um, a little an opportunity to have a look at that before you arrive. Please note that we're starting at 8.45 on Monday morning. It's critical that you're all there by that time. Uh, we've also got on the timetable, you'll see that there are the rooms that we're going to be in. So on Monday morning, we're starting 8.45 in room 3201. Now in particular what I want to uh, highlight to you is uh, the fact that for those in my paper The Classroom is Context for Learning, which is the majority of you, you will be presenting your subject essence statements. Um, I've already written to you about this and talked to you about the way to focus on this. Uh, first of all, be mindful that in the presentations, they're only going to be 10 minutes to 15 minutes. 15 minutes, absolutely maximum. A aim more for a 10-minute slot. And in that 10 minutes, you're going to encapsulate your main points that you want to get across. Particularly, focus on the three key questions which are part of the essence statement and just addressing the main points there. You're not trying to get across all of the material that you have actually prepared. You're just really trying to capture highlights, main points in that time. I'm going to divide the class into four groups. There will be different times on the Tuesday and the Wednesday for you to do your presentations within those groups. And I'll be organising the groups according to subject areas so that there is a good mix in each group. So please come prepared. If you're presenting it via um, PowerPoint presentation, you need to have it on a stick so we can load the sticks at the beginning of each of the sessions and you're up and running. There's not going to be any particular delay. Um, what it then means is that if we work in groups, it means that we can build in some independent time for you throughout this week. So you'll only be required to be working with the group that you're presenting your subject essence statement in. There'll be groups of about six or seven in each group. And then the other times groups are presented, you'll actually have time to work independently. And I know that there's plenty uh, for you to be engaged with, with final assignments coming up in other papers. So. This is the real main consideration that I actually have. Go back, please, and check carefully uh, the wording of that assessment task in your course outline and check carefully against the criteria statements. Those are the statements that we're actually assessing you against. Be mindful that threaded throughout your subject essence statements your rewritten ones, the ones you're presenting, you need to have central to them a biblical perspective, a Christian worldview, with evidence of that. So it could be that you need to include um, scripture passages that are appropriate. It could be that you need to include um, quotes, material, statements that you've taken from relevant uh, sources that will actually support that perspective. Um, I will be in Auckland on Thursday and Friday at a conference if people are wanting to send through draft copies for me to have a look at and give you some feedback as you do final editing then I'm happy to do that but you'll need to get them to me via email and I certainly will be checking my emails and getting back to you as quickly as possible um, with some feedback in regards to that so the rest is pretty straightforward. Check your emails tonight because we will have attached a copy of the timetable. Also have attached a copy of the subject tutor groups this week that you're involved in. Okay, hope things have gone well this week and um, I'm really looking forward to hearing from you in regards to practicum feedback and how things have gone. 
and it will just be wonderful to have you all on site again as a big happy family so take care travel safely god bless and i'll see you remember quarter to nine monday morning 3201 okay bless you welcome to pippi 2176 news i trust practicum's gone really well you've learned lots about being an authentic teacher You've experienced the highs and lows of the profession, but you've still got that passion burning deeper inside yourself about wanting to be a teacher. Intensive is going to be a lot of fun this, uh, next week, where it's going to be split into two parts for our puppy paper. The first part on the Monday and the Tuesday are going to be the class sessions, the lecture sessions on Jesus the Master Teacher, and integrating that belief and service into our worldview and our practice as a teacher. The session on the Monday is going to be led by myself and it's going to be a very interactive session. It's going to be a session in which we're going to be using smartphone technology. So if you have a smartphone, an Android phone and an iPhone, I would really appreciate if you brought that with you and you had a QR code reader downloaded onto that QR droid for the Android and scan for the iPhone are two really good applications that are free and will be really good for our group work. The Tuesday session is going to be led by John Norsworthy. He's going to come in and discuss the issue of worldview. To recap that and to recap how it should influence our teaching approach, it's going to look at that article earlier in the year that stirred up a lot of debate and comment online. So please have a re-look at that and bring the questions with you from that um, as he's more than happy to enter that debate and to answer those questions for you. <coughs> Uh, please also make sure you've read the Pasmino and the Sabesma articles before you come, if you have the time. They're not too long and they shouldn't be too intense. They're more magazine style, as they will be the basis of our lectures on the Monday and the Tuesday. And it would be very beneficial to the flow if they were read beforehand. The second part of the week is going to be devoted to the last part of Assignment 1, Assessment 1. Uh, which is the 15% task uh, where we're going to create a Webly website um, on what you've learned about being a professional teacher. It's going to be a tutorial and then practical based session in which by the end of it you should have created the shell for your assessment and begun putting your assessment into place. It uh, should be a lot of fun. It's an awesome program, one that you will find lots of uses for as a teacher and you will also find your students may have lots of uses for in the classroom and makes good formative and summative assessment. I'm really looking forward to the intensive. I'm looking forward to catching up with everybody. I wish you safe travels on your way to Tauranga and I'm looking forward to hearing those stories over a cup of coffee when you're here. All the best. Bye.